Good morning, Louis Tomlinson. Morning, mate. How are you? Um, yeah, I'm a bit tired, obviously. Bit tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just talking about um, our sleep routines over a very emotional Kesha record then. Mm, yeah, it was uh, nice. <laughs> it's nice. Mm. Um, but yeah, you're, you're, you're not into the morning, are you? I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'll do my best, obviously, but uh, I'm just a little slow in the morning, yeah. Well, I appreciate it, coming in early. Can we talk about the story that you just told us during the news? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, look to, yeah. I, I really, really like this, because, you know, you must go out and, and meet people, like, you'll find yourselves at, like, I don't know, the VMAs or the Grammys yeah. or the Brits or something, and you're running into people that you've seen off the telly and stuff. Mm. Yeah, do you know what, it doesn't actually... <sighs> Because I spend a lot, of, a lot of time with my friends from home, I don't get myself into uh, these situations too often, right. and, and this is probably why. Um, but yeah, I was at this after party, kind of exclusive, like 100, 150 people there, and uh, I was with my mates, and I walked up to, um, I believe it was Toby Maguire. Um, it was Spider Man when I was a kid, but right. um, obviously being the chav from Donny, I was more interested in the film Green Street. So I walk up to him and I say absolutely love Green Street, mate. And he's just looking through me. I can see my mates laughing. And it's because, obviously, Elijah Wood is yeah. in Green Street. But tell me they don't look similar. Tell they, me that... They do look similar. And I imagine, after a few beers, they look identical. They look identical, they look exactly. Absolutely exactly. identical. Um, it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. How did, did he say... How did you get out of that situation? Oh, I, I just walked away when I realised that I got it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just too embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that before where I confused NSYNC and Backstreet Boys. Mm. That was on television. Yeah, okay. So maybe worse. Maybe worse. Maybe. Has it, has it happened to you when famous people who you've seen in films and off the telly have come up to you and been like, hi, Louis, and you're like, oh, my God, you're... Danny DeVito. I mean, def definitely sometimes at the at the shows, definitely there was um, crazy moments like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was like the maddest person that came to say hi and stuff? Um, I don't know if I like to be fair. It wasn't. It, he didn't know who he was, but the best person I met is Pele. I mean, that was so. <laughs> cool that, i mean that <laughs> is really cool yeah i mean obviously i'm a massive football fan and he was just just reeling off like a, a granddad if i can call him that just reeling off all the most amazing yeah. football stories it was great i love i love just running into pele i kind of organized it me and my best mate went and uh, yeah had a little meet and greet it was special that. did mm. you have a, like a fan photo with pele oh yeah literally i was yeah. like one of my fans i was shaking in the lot yeah yeah you have to do that um if you are just joining us um you've you've missed us playing louis and bb Ray Texas brand new song. You have, yeah, yeah, unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> Should we play it again before you yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, please, that'd be yeah, nice. Yeah, that'd be yeah. That'd be nice, yeah. Um, how was it teaming up with BB? Like, how, did, how was your first meeting? How did it come about? And how was it going to the studio with someone? So, actually, um, I wrote the song with Nick from Digital Farm Animals. Uh -huh. um, and, and then I vocaled the song, we were listening to it, and then I called him and we both agreed that it definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, it definitely felt like it needed a collaborator yeah. and, and it definitely really to drive the emotion and the concept of the song, it'd be great to have a female on there. So we kind of, a few names were thrown around and then I think someone from the record label must have sent it to BB, got it back and obviously, I mean, she just sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. But also, really important to me, she, she's got such a, an obvious tone, you know what I mean? A really cool tone, but, but you can pick her out of a line, uh -huh, you know, totally. which is really cool for me. Uh, and she's a great girl. Actually, the first time that um, we properly met, we spoke on the phone a couple of times, but was at the video shoot. So oh, it was really? one of those. It was one of those. And um, it was kind of funny because, like, you know, she was mid shot and that was the initial, like, kind of awkward introduction and whatever. But then as we got out through the day, like, she's such she's such a good person, really good energy, really good fun. And I actually really enjoyed showing around Doncaster, which How, is how I did the video. I love that because I've seen the video. Yeah. And the video is great as well because it's, it's, it's you in Doncaster. Yeah. And I like that mm. a lot that you've you stuck true to your British roots. Yeah. I like that a lot. Um, how was it when BB was coming to Doncaster? Because I think people from America think that maybe the UK is like thatched cottage roofs and we it's, all know the Queen. That, that is so true. Yeah, yeah. And think that all of England is as beautiful as uh, yeah, yeah, the rest. Yeah, yeah. Um, to be honest, I, I, I think it was Donny on a good day. You know what I mean? There wasn't too many chavs around. <laughs> like, there wasn't too much like, aggression on the street. Yeah, it was, it was good. The only thing that I found that was funny was um, I think maybe it come from her team, but like uh, at like lunchtime, they come into me um, dressing room and they go, so, uh, so, so, BB's gonna get some sushi. Uh, I don't, 
<laughs> honestly, honestly, she is, then. <laughs> you're gonna have to go at least 50 miles outside of Doncaster to even get something that they call sushi, you know. Uh, but it was real fun, what real nice. What did she eat in the end? I love that. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I don't. Bibi needs sushi. It's like, yeah, that doesn't exist there uh, yet. Chips and curry sauce, probably. Same, yeah, innit? yeah, yeah. Same, really. Yeah. Same, really. But she's a lot of fun. I really, really like her. Mm. And I met her um, when she came on the show. And it's always quite, you know, a little bit of a risk if you've never met someone. Yeah. And then you've booked them on the radio for an hour. <laughs> yeah. But she's great, isn't she? They're mm -hmm. very easy to be around and a lot of fun. She, um, when she came in, we, we did a lot of research into BB. And we found out that she used to play the trumpet when she was a kid. That's pretty cool. So as you know, she's an amazing singer and great voice. And um, have a little listen to her trumpet skills because she, she, she brought trumpet in and she said she thought she'd like to show off the impressive skills when she joined me on the show. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> sounds amazing. I suck. Wait, I'm trying to do the scale. Hold on. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it sounds pretty. Um, it's unique. It's unique. For it's sure. very. Um, Organic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe even indie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's, a, bit, it's a little bit off kilter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, She's not trying to be, you know, commercial. It's just out I like that. Abstract. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Quite abstract. Would you like to have a go on actually actual BB Rex's trumpet? I, 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 I would, yeah, yeah. It is, isn't it? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to give it a yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, go on, yeah. Because, yeah, I'll pass it over. Because there was a vicious rumor going around that you used to play it as well. There's but, not many trumpet players in Doncaster. I no. wasn't one of them, but. I mean. Um, Sweet. Honestly, I'm not sure. I don't even really know how to write. All right, okay, here we go. Here we go. Hang Some on. live music now from One Louis Tomlinson. Warm up. Okay. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. I think it's broke this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How's it work? It's more of a. Oh, I've got. Yeah. Oh! Look beautiful! <laughs> It's like BB Rex is back again. Yes. Wow. Well, next song that you do yeah. for the first live performance, two trumpets will make Louis and BB do that. Incredible scenes. Not very good. <laughs> Not, Not very, very good. good. Not as good, but as good as BB. Did you see what, um, or did you hear what Niall said about you on the radio in Australia? I did. He's lovely, oh, isn't he, Niall? He this. melts my heart. He's lovely. Oh, I, lo He's lovely. I love this. I love this. Because uh, if you didn't hear this, we're going to play a little clip of it. Nice. Um, this was Niall on, is in Australia, wasn't it? I in think so, Australian yeah. Australian yeah. radio. Um, talking about Louis. Where He's an unbelievable guy, a uh, great singer, and, and someone that if, if, you know, I'd say we would have lost the plot along the way if we hadn't had Louis. He was uh, a very, very, very extremely vital member of, of One Direction. Oh, I love that. He's, he's lovely, Niall, honestly. He melts me out always. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little no. It's nice knowing that, you know, someone's got your back like that as well. I love that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, and you know, it was um, like that interview that I did that kind of provoked that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? I never asked Niall to come out and say, I just think things like that, they really mean a lot to me. It's proper sweet. Yeah, yeah, real sweet. I liked that interview, by the way. I thought it was good. Yeah, it was very open. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was quite hard for me to read back, to be quite honest. But yeah, I think it was good. Do you do that, though? Do you ever, like, read stuff back or, or watch stuff back? or? Not not normally, but because that one, I was so open and honest. Obviously, I wanted to feel the tone of yeah, it yeah, and yeah. see how it was written. Um, but yeah, yeah, hopefully it was all right. No, it was good. It was definitely good. Thank you. Well, Louis, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me. You're very, very welcome and um, congratulations on the new single. Thank you. And keep up that trumpet playing. Oh, yes. All right. Thank you, Louis. Thank you.